Oh, you gonna show them your tricks? You gonna show them your tricks? One that didn't clear up at first, and then it just kind of continued. So we I could see, you know, you can do at the same time. Okay. But frankly, it would. I I wanted. She wouldn't feel as comfortable knowing that she's probably gonna have to have a lot of MRIs, MRIs in yeah. the future. Um, it is challenging, but it is, you know, part of what dealing with this virus is, is that it, it can happen to anybody. It can happen to a very healthy person like me and a, a very healthy pregnancy like Evelyn. Will her immune system get into gear at that point and start to control things? Would Which it do is better? probably not a perfect sign to keep on moving at different states. And, and do you have any sense who actually drove the the med medical protocol for children with CMV because for some reason this, all this FDA approval stuff kind of mm -hmm. came up. The challenge with cytomegalovirus is that when it infects the baby, the part of the baby that's most affected is the growing nervous system. So what happens is that babies that acquire cytomegalovirus during pregnancy uh, are at high risk for hearing problems and for mental retardation. And so it's important that we try and find ways to intervene. Now the challenge we have is because the infection is asymptomatic, you don't know when mom gets it. So good. Ah. Suck your thumb. Let's see. Big girl. Hi. She's Hi. showing me her new teeth on the back. Are you getting teeth? Yes. Are you getting teeth? <laughs> yeah. There you go. Your ears look good. So there are some children with CMV who present with normal hearing uh, at birth, uh, but then their hearing loss uh, deteriorates with time. And so that's why it's very important that we continue to monitor these children. Her left one, I noticed like if I feel like her left ear is her best. And it, that's what's shown too. Yeah. That she can hear more out of her left ear. Some days are really good and she's such a cheerful, happy baby and we just... We embrace her and love her always, but you know, it's sometimes when we go to bed and we're talking about, you know, her care and the therapies and the doctor's appointments and the MRIs and all of these things that go into her condition, it's an it's I mean, even one of those things can make a parent be scared and um, all of it really can terrify you. Ooh. Good morning. Good morning for you. But you're looking at me. <laughs> Look at our stuff. No. Okay. Cytomegalovirus infection is the most common cause of sensory neural deafness. And so there's now an idea afoot that what we should do is look for any baby who flunks a hearing test in the newborn period and see if there are things we can do to help this child because maybe that's a baby with cytomegalovirus and if that child has cytomegalovirus infection we can support the family and support the child through things like early intervention. 